My name is Zach Henderson, and this is Megapixels Digital. The Phase 1 A-Series is a camera stripped of all unnecessary features, leaving only the most important pieces for a streamlined, methodical workflow. This video will help you understand the basics of this camera. To remove a lens, first secure the lens barrel. Then, raise the locking levers at the top of the camera body. Once both levers have been raised, the lens can be removed. To mount a lens, simply reverse this process. You should hear a small click once the levers have been lowered. Confirm a secure fit before releasing the barrel. The locking mechanism is the same for both the lens and the digital back. To begin using the camera, electronic communication must first be established with a cable from the lens to the digital back. First, insert the multi-pin cable into the corresponding port on the digital back. The multi-pin cable must be inserted at an angle. While some force is required to make a secure connection, you should easily be able to feel the cable enter the port. To remove, grip the silver locking ring of the multi-pin cable and pull backwards. Next, insert the patch cord portion of the cable into the PC port on the lens. Lastly, insert the Limo plug into the bottom of the sync release. To remove, grip only the silver sheath and pull directly down. Select your shutter speed by rotating the shutter speed dial on the lens. You'll feel a click stop once the ring has settled. Aperture is selected by sliding the black aperture dial across the lens. There are no click stops. Focus is achieved by turning the large focus ring. This ring is designed with a resistance to ensure precise focusing. The lens's leaf shutter must be open for live view and then closed to take a photograph. Open the shutter by raising the lever next to the PC port. This reveals a red dot below the lever. Close it by pushing the lever down. If you try to take an image with the shutter already open, you will receive an error on the digital back. Clear the error, close the shutter, and then take the image. To initiate Live View, click on the contextual menu in the bottom right hand portion of the digital back's touchscreen. Then, press the video camera icon. If no image appears, ensure that the shutter is open and that there's no lens cap. Once in Live View, you may double tap anywhere in the image to bring up a 100% view. It is also possible to pan across the image while in 100% view. Now you may turn the focusing ring to ensure your image will be in focus. For even further precision, tap the image once and push up on the zoom bar that appears on the left-hand side of the screen. It's possible to view the live image at up to 400%. To exit Live View, simply press on the top left silver button once. After your image is focused and your exposure settings are dialed in, it's time to take a photograph. Close the shutter, cock the shutter, and press the brass shutter release. In a moment, you'll see a preview on the digital back. When using a non-A-series digital back, it's advised to create an LCC, or a lens cast calibration. To do this, use the translucent LCC plate provided with your technical camera and place it directly in front of the lens so that it's touching the lens barrel. You'll want to reduce shutter speed by one to two stops, but don't adjust the aperture as this will change the lens cast. A new LCC should be made for each aperture used. After importing your images into Capture One, apply the LCC to its corresponding images. First, right-click on the LCC thumbnail and select Create LCC. Be sure to check Include Dust Removal Information and Wide Angle Lens with Movements. Capture One will then analyze the LCC and create an evenly lit image. This may take one to two minutes. To apply this data to your other images, simply select the LCC thumbnail and the thumbnails of the images you'd like the LCC applied to. Right-click on the thumbnail and click Apply LCC. Inside the Lens Tool tab, you'll find the LCC tool. In the LCC tool, you can check and uncheck various aspects of the LCC calibration to achieve your desired effect. Thanks for watching. My name is Zach Henderson, and this is Megapixels Digital.